We can understand your curiosity by reading the title of this video. You must be wondering what these atmospheric aerosols are and what they can do to our environment and climate pattern. Well, you will get your answers shortly. To date, we were unaware of this phenomenon of cloud formation. All credit goes to the researchers and chemists. This is Earthy Perks, with a new episode to reveal how iodine-containing particles can involve in cloud formation and impact overall climatic changes. Have you ever thought that iodine can play its role in cloud formation? Well, to this date, we always considered phenomena of transpiration and evaporation to contribute to making clouds and revitalizing the water cycle. But interestingly, scientists have come up with an all-new revelation. This time, it is discovered that iodic acid is rapidly contributing to the form of atmospheric aerosols. Iodine emission in the environment has paved the way to understand iodine's role in its vapor compounds to evaporate and play their significant role in cloud formation. Iodine-containing vapors speed up the process of nucleation. It also reveals how aerosols are formed and how they combine to create a cloud. With increasing concentrations in the atmosphere, iodine is directly involved in forming clouds over the marine environment. Well, here we can predict that marine waters contain high salts, and iodine is its primary component and can support the entire process. Iodine vapor's capacity to form the atmospheric aerosols is even higher than that of nitric acid and ammonia. The rate of nucleation is twice as compared to that for nitric acid and ammonia vapors. It concludes that by increasing the concentration of iodine particles or vapors, we can improve cloud formation. The immediate increase in cloud formation has then impacted the overall climate. More clouds mean more rain. It will lower down the temperature of regions. Moreover, clouds own reflective properties. In this context, more clouds will reflect the sun's energy to space and keep the Earth from getting too hot. But this can be a bit problematic for poles, as we all know that snow also reflects the sun's energy, but with cloud cover reflecting the heat rays, we'll get them back on snow caps and glaciers. In this context, the Arctic will be the most susceptible zone. With increased cloud cover, the melting rate will be twice that in the case of global warming. Researches are being carried out to understand the complex patterns of iodic acid and sulfur compounds to play their role in cloud formation, and how these clouds can disturb the polar atmosphere. Another exciting fact linked to clouds is cloud brightening. Well, you might be amazed that air pollution, aka the pollutants in air aerosols, plays the role they not only impart the cooling effect, but make the clouds brighter. A brighter cloud has greater reflective power. The bright lines in the clouds are the air pollutant aerosols. But this phenomenon is not permanent. At first, the clouds get brighter, but soon after, they get thin and dark. The phenomenon is termed as ship track, as the air pollutant aerosols come from the ships in marine waters, emitting out the smoke loaded with air pollutants. Although the concept exists, it is too short-lived to provide any solid proof. This concept has much to do with climate engineering. It also explains that the brightening of clouds via atmospheric aerosols over marine environments is not straightforward. Scientists are figuring out how these atmospheric aerosols, and especially the iodine-containing vapors, can further play their role in cloud formation and climatic changes. Be ready for more exciting and big revelations in the near future. Earthy Perks and Clarnia bring up an exciting offer. As a subscriber, tune to Clarnia.com to approach the world's classy home decor canvas wall art prints and get a flat $30 discount on nature wall art. Use code EarthyPerks to avail of the deal.